Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over um, how to do a structural simulation in OpenFOAM and also how to get over the uh, stress singularity that occurs at corners um, that prevents uh, results from converging. So here we'll be simulating a simple cantilever for which there are analytical uh, expression uh, solutions for. And um, we'll look at how to get over the stress singularity. So this is a here's a picture of the simulation. Uh, uh, simulation domain, and you can see that we have uh, it's a cantilever beam. We have loading. Uh, we have our load here, um, which in open foam is input as a shear traction. Um, so it's actually uh, implemented on this end face, and there's it's a shear load. <coughs> and here, as we'd expect from theory, the highest stress to be um, at the top and bottom. Uh, they're equivalent compressive and tensile stresses in bending, for uh, caused by bending. And um, so typically, if you just tried to run a square, such as if I'd cut the domain here, uh, and you just try to run that situ uh, simulation, the, you have a corner um, where the stress is the highest. And this would prevent the, simula the simulation from converging. So as you de decrease your mesh size and simulate for longer periods of time, this stress will just keep going higher and higher and higher. It, it never converges to a, value, to, uh, to a finite value. It just creeps higher and higher. So that's extremely problematic. Um, to get a solution. Um, <clears throat> so what you can do is just move the stress singularity to where, although it creeps up higher and higher, the maximum won't be what you're interested in. So for example, this is the fixed location. Instead of the fixed point being here, I've created this whole other domain and have the fixed point here. So we've actually moved the stress singularity here. As you can see, there's no longer a corner here, but um, this is where the stress singularity will occur. Um, but as you can see, it's much taller, which means a much higher area moment of inertia, which means it's much uh, more stiff um, and would have much less uh, bending moment stress, at least. Uh, and so although this is still creeping upward, it, it doesn't get in the way of your maximum value solution. So. Uh, your maximum value will converge because it'll be this one. This one will still be creeping, but you won't see it in the maximum, and you'll finally be able to converge to what you want. Um, just a small note that this curve here does actually affect the, the physical setup of the problem, so your, your maximum stress might be a little different location, um, and it might be a slightly different value, but you can modulate this by, you know, decreasing the uh, radius of curvature here. <coughs> so, okay, let's get on to the simulation um, first. So I've included all the commands in the readme first to, oh, so here are the file contents for this tutorial case. We have the case, which is the open film fi files, some post-process pictures, one of which I already showed you, and the mesh, which is written in Gmesh. So first, let's generate the mesh with the command I just copied. All right, now let's convert the mesh. And now let's uh, change the face, uh, face names to the proper ones that we've uh, set in the open foam case files. So um, if you want to know what they are, you can go look inside the <coughs> You can view this in the uh, change dictionary dict inside the system folder in case. And finally, just run the simulation. So you, you see that I redirected the output to log, so it's not showing the output here. But let's just kill the simulation and look at what's being generated in log. You can see it's the simulation running and 
I happened to kill it when it was 516 iterations in. So as you can see it's running fine. Um, so I've run the full solution which takes on my computer like 5 minutes or so um, in a serial. And uh, I, I have this log reference that uh, you can view here. And you can see that every 1000 iterations there's this max sigma e eq output. So this is the measure of convergence. This is the maximum uh, von Mises stress uh, in the field. So as, as this maximum stress uh, starts to plateau, that's, that's your sign of convergence. Um, so we can actually, uh, I've made a little Python script to extract this max, these maximum values so you can see that it converges. So it generates this file called sigma eq. And you can see this, each, each entry is for a thousand iterations. So as you, you can see this converges here to some value. So this means the stress singularity, the problem of the stress singularity has been overcome by simply moving the stress singularity to a location where the absolute value of the stress will be much lower. I suppose that's it, and uh, it matches pretty well with the um, analytical value that we'd expect for the, uh, I can't remember the exact figure, but it's, it's within one percent, I believe, or maybe even less than that. Um, but you can take the measurements from the GMesh geometry file and then see, verify for yourself. All right, that's all there is to this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and happy foaming.